Hello everyone. Uh, this video is about how to get your first AWS cloud computing job. So let me introduce myself. I have 14 plus years of experience in IT and over six years of experience into AWS and cloud DevOps field. So I just want to share um, my practical experience uh, and uh, I hope it can help you all to I mean, get your first AWS cloud computing job. So let's start. So uh, this is the document that AWS has shared as their learning path if you want to get into AWS. So what you should do. So they say if you are from a non-IT background and you want to switch to a cloud career, you should start with the, the very basic course that they provide. It's called AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner course. This course is going to give you the knowledge of the basic terminologies that they use in AWS everywhere. So I think this is a great course to start with if you're from a non-IT background. Then if you're already uh, working and you are from some other domain, sales, marketing, or either, any other business role, you can again do the same course, AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner course to get the very basics of AWS. And then you can choose other certifications uh, depending on your choice of, uh, I mean, depending on your choice, you can choose other other certifications as well, as well later then if you're already in it you have like one two three years of experience or you are from a stem background stem stands for science technology engineering and mathematics so if you are from this background then you can directly do their next course which is associate level aws certification so this is like level zero and this is like level one so they say if you are from it you can always start with the associate levels AWS certification course instead of their uh, cloud practitioner course. And then uh, they've given different certification paths depending on the role and responsibility, roles and responsibilities. So if you want to become a solutions architect, you have to do all these certifications. And similarly for other roles as well, other roles as well, uh, if you want to become an application architect, this is the, the certification path that they've given. And similarly for other other various roles in AWS, because in AWS there are different verticals. So depending on your choice and interest, you can uh, choose the uh, different certification path. Where I am working right now, just want to inform you that I, uh, I mean I'm like a shared resource. So sometimes I'm working as a solutions architect, sometimes I I'm working as systems administrator, cloud engineer, and cloud DevOps engineer. So I. I mean, I uh, work as a shared resource and uh, have the responsibilities of these four roles where I'm working. So I'm going to share the URL of this of this document that you can refer. Uh, so I am going to give you this URL in, in the description of this video. So this is what AWS says. And uh, I have prepared one, own, uh, one document of my own to give you some experience into how it actually goes in AWS. So as I mentioned, uh, for uh, six years I was into a management domain where I did not have any exposure to any any technical stuff Then I switched to Linux initially So I worked there for two years and then I switched to AWS and cloud DevOps So I have over six years of experience into cloud and DevOps field So I just want to share my real practical experience and how you should go about it if you want to um, Get your first job in AWS So what you have to learn initially is I would say always learn some Linux administration or Windows administration depending on your choice but I would highly recommend if you can learn some Linux administration basics uh, it would be really good because all the all the big uh, companies and projects around the world are using Linux these days and all their projects are Linux based so if, if you can learn some Linux basics I think it's going to help you in, a, in the long run because whenever you are stuck you have some errors issues and you want to troubleshoot it uh, all all those all those troubleshooting will be done on Linux level mostly So it is really important to learn Linux initially Okay before starting your AWS journey I would say so at least the very basic level of administration you should know and then you can just just build upon that knowledge uh, in, in, in the coming years Then I would also say that you should have some basic knowledge of storage networking and security because this this is like uh, I mean it really helps once again in the long run if you have some basics of these three technologies as well 
uh, now some people will question this but uh, trust me guys i've been into this field for six plus years and it really helps if you know these things i mean if you don't know you can still uh no find a way but if you, if you know these things it really helps it, it just makes your life easier at times so uh if you want to learn the basics of all these things there are ample free courses available on various platforms like two hours or three hour courses to learn the very basics of it i think those courses are are more than sufficient to start with and then you can go for your main aws course i would say so just learn the basics of uh, one operating system administration uh, linux if you can or windows then uh, just try to learn some basics of storage networking and security and storage i've, I've, I've just given some some uh, some topics that you should know like hdd ssd interfaces nas and san raid etc so there are some other topics as well uh, but uh, so these are the main ones that I just wanted to talk about, but again, uh, you have to just go for some free course on these, these, uh, these uh, different technologies to learn the very basics of it. And once again, in network and security, it's important to understand what is an IP or a protocol, DNS, firewall, LAN, WAN, router, switch, OSI model, uh, port, etc. Because all these things are going to come up when you learn your AWS course, and if if you if you don't understand these uh, terms then uh, I mean all, all the things are going to go over your over your head okay then uh, if you want to I mean uh, you should also have some some scripting uh, uh, knowledge as well I mean I, I won't say that you should be the master of it but if you if you can learn some some basics of any scripting knowledge either bash scripting or Python scripting uh, scripting it, it 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 again does help Okay, but once again, I mean, I just, I just wanted to highlight this that if you know the basics, it is good, uh, because it it really helps. It really helps because sometimes you have to write scripts. Also, sometimes I mean, uh, I mean, it it, it really uh, depends on your role where you are. But if if you know all, I mean, uh, if you know just the basics of these things, it really helps. Okay, do your day to day job really well. So, just wanted to highlight these things. Then, in AWS, you know there are over 300 services, and uh, I don't think one person can learn all the services uh, deep. So, it is it is always uh, just good to start with the the very core services. So, these are the the core services which will be used everywhere, no matter what your role is in AWS. But all these services are, are going to come up. And trust me, guys, if you can learn. Or uh, I mean, uh, if you can learn all these services in deep, you can crack eight out of ten interviews for sure. Okay, because I have appeared in like fifteen interviews myself. So all these things are asked, no matter which which you know a domain you uh, go for. But all these services are, are going to come up in the interviews. So you should know all the, all these services in deep. And then you can learn some other other services. Uh, in which you are interested in but the so this is like the core of aws you can say okay then i would always recommend to start with a free course initially and aws does uh, I mean, give you the uh, privilege to I mean, create your own aws account and that does give you uh, I mean, access to their free tier segment as well where you you can uh, I mean, I mean, where you can use their services free of cost for almost one year. So, not all the services are free in this, but I mean, uh, most of the services are are free of cost to you for one year initially in one account. Okay, so I think it is a great way to start with. So you can just create your AWS account and then try to use their free tier segment to uh, start your AWS journey. Then after you have done uh, this free course. And uh, I mean, you want to I mean, go for some some paid, uh, you know, some paid course like of uh, like uh, uh, eighteen twenty hours. Uh, you can. So once again, there are I mean, various uh, different platforms that you can choose. But I mean, I would highly recommend that whenever you are I mean, choosing any any course where you are paying, just check the reviews, and also the rating of the course should be four point five star and above at least. I've seen courses. Which are rated as high as 4.8, 4.9, but 4.5 star is the minimum that I would recommend. But once again, if you need any help in finding the resources for any of these concepts, any of these technologies, 
uh, you can always contact me on my social media handles or you can just uh, email me as well and i'm going to give you all the references free of cost okay so i mean if you need any help just just reach out to me so this is about the main course then uh, i mean after you have you know done the course and learn the services that i spoke about it is time to do some mini projects to get some real hands on experience so once again there are ample free uh, resources available on the internet you don't have to pay anything to get uh, some hands on experience to the mini projects on aws once again you can reach out to me if you need any help i can give you all the references that you can use and you can put all, uh, uh, all these things in your resume as well before the interview and before the interview you should also prepare for interview questions of course <laughs> so i would recommend i mean going through at least 150 interview questions and answers on google uh, I mean, uh, before you appear for your first interview it i mean it, it's going to help you a lot you know i mean get the hang of uh, the things you know uh, just try to see i mean what type of questions are being asked currently and then prepare accordingly then after you have uh, you know, uh, uh, done the main course and you're prepared for interview questions, you have done some mini projects also, it is it is time to do the real hands-on. So, uh, I mean, once again, it depends, this this last point, if you have some, you know, uh, some good contacts, some networks, or some of your friends are working in any, any uh, you know, in, uh, this cloud enterprise, then you can reach out to them to get some uh, internships or, you know, uh, the projects where you, where you can work I mean, even if you have to work for free I would I, I would uh, I mean, highly recommend just go for it try to uh, you know gain some practical experience before you appear for this main interview uh, I mean, if you can I mean, get some some really hands-on experience it's it's going to help you crack the real interview and get some handsome salary as well so I would highly recommend if you can just you know or, or try to get some some uh, free internship or a paid internship and, and whatever it is it uh, uh, does not matter I mean, as long as you you are getting the right practical experience it, it really helps you i mean crack uh, the real interview so this is all i wanted to share this is all for my practical experience guys this is not like i'm made up from any any resource this is all from my own experience i have six plus years of experience into cloud and uh, 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 over 14 years of experience in IT, so I know exactly what goes in uh, in, in this field. So I know, uh, you know, uh, inside out of it. So, so this is all from my experience. I hope this video was helpful to you. Uh, once again, if you want to have, if, if you want any other help, just just reach out to me, and I'm going to give you all the references, all the resources, free of cost. All right. So do a like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you like this video, and I'm going to. I'll come up with another one soon. Alright, uh, uh, thank you for watching guys. Bye for now.